Welcome to the new and improved CompuTrace Design Suite. With its new look and features, users can easily create, edit, and design complex circuits. Follow this quick start video to begin creating electric heat tracing circuits for piping applications. To start, open CompuTrace from your desktop by clicking the icon. To set up a new project, select the New Project button. Once a project is created, you can easily access all existing projects from this window. To continue with a new project, select Next. There are two mandatory fields that require an input in the project reference window. The project name and project number need to be unique entries to prevent a redundant value error when creating a new project. Keep in mind that the other references can be changed once you've created the project. To set the project units, first select the pipe and insulation units as imperial or metric. Choose your temperature units as Fahrenheit or Celsius. The other units will be either imperial or metric. You can also choose your electrical codes and standards that meet the requirements for your project. Keep in mind that you will not be able to change any of the project units after you start the project. The design defaults will follow the input data throughout the project. These defaults can be changed once you start the project. Once you've completed the setup wizard, select Finish to launch your new project. Now you can see the Thermon CompuTrace Design Suite interface. You can adjust the frames by grabbing the edge of the frame and moving it. The Circuit Manager window is where all circuit name information is sorted. The toolbar menu is located just above the circuit manager window. It contains all of the essential buttons that will be used while designing electric heat tracing circuits. You'll see the button for Create New Circuit, Open Existing Project, Save, Global Search and Replace, Design Active Circuit, Design Change Circuits, Manage External Load Circuits, Assign Panel Circuit Breakers, and Help. To begin a new circuit, select the button from the toolbar. Now you'll see the circuit name and information associated to the system's default inputs. This interactive window allows you to add information and right-click the calculator icon to get multiple options. You can design circuit, add connection, make default circuit, copy circuit, delete a circuit, or generate a bill of materials. The segment definition window is an interactive window that provides a visual representation of the circuit as you develop the multiple segments associated to it. From this window, you can highlight, click, and drag the nodes. By right-clicking the node, you'll be able to change existing components, add new nodes like the splice, T-splice, continuation, and create a loop in between segments. When you've created multiple segments and want to copy, delete, or move a segment to a new circuit, you can highlight the node and segment by dragging a box around both items. From there, you can right-click and either copy, delete, or move that segment to a new circuit. This interactive functionality makes it easy to see the changes and keep track of the circuit layout as you continue creating new circuits. The circuit window contains all inputs that are associated with the entire circuit and or connection. This data will not change in between segments. In the input data tab, you can see the different electrical configurations and maintenance types. You can also see the temperature control information. 
Under the Heater Information tab, you'll see information about the pipe data and the Thermon products associated to it. In the Segment window, this contains all of the inputs that are associated with each segment. This data will change in between segments. To toggle in between segments, you can either select the segment line in the Segment Definition window, or you can select the segment name in the Circuit Manager window. Under Segment window, you'll see input data. This will have your pipe information, insulation information, and the temperatures associated to that segment. This can change in between segments. You can also input a heat sink for each of these segments. You have the ability to include valves, flanges, pumps, and supports. Or you can always create your own heat sink. The Heater Information tab contains information associated to each segment. Once you've input all the information, you can go up and either right click to design circuit, go to the design toolbar to design the circuit, or you can select the icon. Once designed, you will see that you have a successful circuit. When you create a new circuit, you can go in and change some of the segment information. You can change the pipe size to 6 inch and the length to 100 meters. When you redesign, you'll see that you received an error. To follow the error, you can go down to the circuit and segment window. You can see on the segment window, it says that you were unable to generate a design because of a circuit level error. This means you go over to the circuit window and it says your current load requirement is higher than the maximum circuit breaker size. You can fix this by going to input data on the circuit level. You'll notice that your circuit maximum current is 17.1 amps. When you go up to input data, you'll notice that your circuit breaker size is 16 amps. Change this to 25 amps and redesign you now have a successful circuit. If you don't want to re-input some of the project information, you can right-click that circuit and make it your default. You'll notice circuit 2 becomes your default. Congratulations on successfully creating two circuits. CompuTrace Design Suite is the new standard in electric heat tracing design. Our latest feature includes interactive windows which make it easier than ever to create a design. CompuTrace Design Suite is now available worldwide through Thermon's website. Thanks for checking out this CompuTrace introduction video. For more Thermon videos, subscribe here or visit us on the web at thermon.com.